A dog is recovering from what is believed to be a BB gun or airsoft gun injury. We do want to warn you these images may be difficult for some to see. Her owner is pleading for anyone with information to come forward. It happened in Decatur Township. That's after a woman says her dog, Nashville, escaped her yard through a loose board in the fence. When she was found, she was bleeding from her nose and head. Veterinarians believe someone shot her from close range. CBS 4's Courtney Spinelli spoke with the owner who just wants some answers. She did not deserve this. No, no dog deserves something like that. On Friday, Kieran Cooper's service dog Nashville escaping her yard through a loose board in the fence. A neighbor finding her nearby. All right. But it's what veterinarians believe happened while she was gone that's left her heartbroken. That's when they came back and said that it wasn't a dog bite, it wasn't a stab, that somebody had shot her with um, a BB gun or a pellet rifle. Cooper says they believe this was more than just a harmless accident. This was malicious. But rather a dog hurt at the hands of another person. They believe Nashville was shot at close range, but got lucky because whatever she was shot with exited out of her nose. I screamed and cried and I couldn't collect myself. She says after the initial shock and anger passed, it turned to sadness for the thought of someone hurting a sweet girl who loves everyone she meets. <laughs> Especially her two-year-old best friend, Cooper's daughter, Kinley. When she came home this morning, her first thing was, Nashy, where's Nashy? And she, you know, she likes to lay on her and rub on her. She says explaining to a two-year-old why she can't play with her dog right now breaks her heart a second time. You know, she doesn't understand why can't I lay on my puppy, like why can't I? Cooper says Nashville isn't out of the woods yet. She's still bleeding from her nose and has swelling on her head. What are you doing? But this dog, she says, saved her life a few years ago. And now she'll do everything to save hers. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. So, you know, it's my turn. And to push for answers after an incident that could have taken the life of a beloved family member. <laughs> trained to help others in their time of need. I would not want somebody else to feel this way. You know, it's, we, I could have lost her. She hopes anyone with information does the right thing and comes forward. Reporting in Decatur Township, Courtney Spinelli, CBS 4 News.